He's just been chased up a tree by a lioness. I don't believe it. She came out of nowhere. I had no idea she was here. The lioness is at the base of the tree. She tried to climb the tree after him. She just, just missed. I don't believe that. That was such a surprise. She just came out of nowhere. Wow. My heart's going so fast. I thought she was going to get him. Oh, my word. Whew. Look at Tingana all the way at the top of the Marula tree. I cannot believe that just happened. I'm actually shaking. I got such a fright. I really thought she was going to get him. She just came out of nowhere. She was two meters at the most from him. Whew. Okay, we're going to reposition. He's okay. He's going to be okay up there, I think. That's a little bit too much of a climb for a lioness. There she is. One of our Nkuhumas. That's unbelievable. What is it with me and things chasing nippets up trees at the moment? And you, Dave. <laughs> my heart's pounding. Oh, my word. She, she shot up up that tree and then fell out. She went straight after him. She didn't even think about it. And here we have a truly African scene, a battle of the predators. She can't climb that tree and she knows it. The opportunity is lost and it's, is that our young lioness? It is, it's our young lioness. Full bellied, that was pure competition at work. If she'd caught him, there's no doubt she would have killed him. Young lionesses, young lions in general, are the ones that tend to initiate these hunts. Off she goes. Back to, I don't even know where she came from. I have no idea. I had no idea she was here. Job done. She saunters off. Dominance established. Oh, fantastic. I was so worried that we might have missed it, but luckily the wonderful girls in Final Control have a replay of the chase. So let's just wait for her to disappear. Let's just wait for her to disappear. You can hear the Impala alarm calling as she snuffles around. Oh my word. That was absolutely incredible. I wonder if she's going to come back. I wonder if Tingana's thinking the same thing. Where did you come from? She's gone? I don't even know what she's after. That was just... She's playing. Basically, her hunting instincts are triggered and she's keeping herself entertained. Either she must have, that must have been something small, a steam book or a, a something that she just pounced for. <laughs> and all the while, the impala are alarm calling as if to say, oh, there's lions and leopards here. There's Tingana. He's up in the tree still. He's not going down anytime soon. Blinking in relief. Wow. That was incredible. Okay. We have the clip prepared for you. Final Control doing their marvelous job once again. Now let's have a look at what transpired just a few seconds ago. what I mean about my heart, why my heart was racing. That was absolutely astounding. Now I'm guessing the lioness has disappeared. I'm guessing that she's going to move back towards the rest of the lions, but he's still looking in that direction, so I don't think she's gone just yet. I'm not going to reposition it. I'm going to just stick here for the moment and let the scenario play out. Well done, Tingana. The reflexes of a leopard strike again. Oh, shame. You look so miserable. <laughs> oh, 
he looks so sad. Shame, I think if my heart is racing, his must be too. Have you ever seen Tingana look so downcast in your life? Oh, he's beautiful. Whew, I'm so glad he got up that tree. I'm so glad that tree was there. <clears throat> I'm not... <laughs> I mean, you're not meant to take sides, of course, but it's impossible not to in a situation like that. For new viewers, what an exciting way to start off your first sunrise safari. I do hope we've got a couple of new viewers joining us along for the first time. So this is the dominant male leopard of this area. And he's pretty much as big as they get. Uh, there's one or two that are a little bit larger, but we're talking a margin of maybe a couple of kilograms, maybe 10 kilograms at the most. So he is as big as a leopard gets. Leopards are not built to be in competition with lions. Solitary and smaller and stealthier, they rely on their speed and their reflexes and their stealth to hunt and exist. Lions, all predators do that. I mean, I mean it, there's nothing that that young lioness did wrong. It's pure competition, it's elimination of competition, and it happens. Right, so now I have seen a Tingana up a tree with wild dogs underneath him, and not too long ago with Dave, then the next morning with hyenas underneath him, and now with a lioness underneath him. What an extraordinary start. Now he had to get, he knew instinctively, he had to get as high up as possible. Yes, I do. I think that's a very, very good point, Aqua. That's exactly what happened. <clears throat> I think the alarm calls attracted that le attracted that lioness. She came to investigate what was going on. It's just the direction that she came from was so surprising. The rest of the lionesses must be close to that kill that they were on yesterday. Close to Gowrie, Maine. Look at him, Shay. It's the most uncomfortable perch in the world. I think that lioness is still around and he is not going to come out of this tree until he feels it's safe. And Christine, you wanted to know if I have any idea how long he will stay in the tree for. No, I don't. I think he's he's got a really good vantage point. He can probably still see the lioness or at least has a rough idea of where she is. And I think he's going to stay there until she is long gone. I don't think he wants to risk her returning and attempting and making another making another attempt on his life. Not a good start for Tingana. One missed impala hunt, and one lion hunt. <laughs> How was your heart rate there, Dave? Sure. I don't know if in the moment it always feels closer than it is. Oh, look at him. That's really not a comfortable position, is it? That's a very good point. Those impala are still going insane. Sorry, the lions must be walking through here. Sorry, I'll get back to that quest Jen's comment in a moment. These impala are furious. Everywhere. We're surrounded by 180 degrees of impala alarm calls. It might not be a bad idea for Taylor to make her way around this corner. Triple M, Zoe's Road, somewhere around there. The lions are all in this area, I think. And poor Tingana strayed into the wrong neighborhood today.
In the impala that survived the hunt would all have started alarm calling. And you're absolutely right. And he could well have been completely distracted. Although leopards are usually very, very good at being aware of their surroundings. They have to be. They're, they're, one of the, the low, they're on one of the lowest rungs of the predator hierarchy. So they have to be aware of things like wild dogs, hyenas and lions. The only thing that's not a threat to a leopard in terms of big predators is a cheetah. Sure. Okay, let's reposition now. We can get a little bit closer now that the action's all unfolded. I wanted to keep a little bit of distance so that we could make sure not we didn't miss anything. Sorry, I'm just listening to the game drive channel at the same time. What an exciting morning. I'm so glad we caught up with him when we did. I'm trying to find our way through here. Okay, hold on to your paintwork. All in all, bravo to Connor. The reason I say that is we would still have been looking around Zoe's road if he hadn't told us where those alarm calls came from. Okay. Alrighty. Well, Tingana is up in his tree. I am whispering into my mic just because there's other guests obviously right here so I don't want to disturb them in any way. Oh, we did have a beautiful view a second ago. Now we've got, well, oh, a view of his bottom. How's that for a silhouette? It's like something out of a black and white photo.